Okay, so we've just completed a time study and now you want to see some summary information about the study you did here. Notice the button just to the right of the start button is the stats. So we hit the stats and this will show you the total recorded time and the total level time. The level time of course reflects any rating that may have been done and here you can see the average rating is 96%. This is how much total value added time we had. Uh, no non-value added and this is required non-value added. So you can see the total of these two adds up to the total recorded time. No avoidable delays, no unavoidable delays. We're going to go into the details now and the screen changes here. Now this just gives you a default PF and D. And the default is 15, that's personal fatigue and delay because uh, we're going to catch, capture a um, final standard here in a moment. Uh, you can also define your time units. If you tap here you can see your different time units are basically minutes or seconds, the default being minutes. The subjects, um, you want to see select all your subjects. So you can select one or more subjects. The statistical tolerance you want to be dealing with is 80, 90, or 95%. You can change that again. The default is 95%, which would be for a repetitive operation. For a non-repetitive operation, you might well uh, want to do 80% or 90% there. Uh, you'll need one quarter of the observations to be 90% accurate than you do to be 95% accurate. Uh, then we can see the required observations by tapping on the required observations button right here. And this will show you how many observations you've made and how many observations you need to make based upon the range of times that you've recorded during this particular study here. So you can see the details here, this required observations. So and then we can come out of this. Other next thing is the operator performance. And this shows you the distribution of the work content. So you can see here, the average rating here was 90 and the, um, the study time here was 20. Uh, it says up to 100% here if you add these values up, it'll add up to 100%. And the uh, final standard here, this option right here. This will show you what the average time was based upon the observations that you've made here. And so you can get a good idea of what the standard would be down at the bottom here. You see there is a summary tab. We click on the summary. This will show you the standard minutes, units per hour, hours per hundred, seconds per unit, hours per unit. Fairly typical information you might want if you were performing a time study. Back out of this, back out of this, you're back out of this, and we're back to the summary page. And from here you can click on the done down at the bottom left here, and that'll take you back to the main menu, and then you can end the session and it'll take you out.